No. Green Mackenzie Caddis tied on a TMC 100 size 10 dry fly hook. Thread tag gets left out the back, and I'm going to work with a, a two millimeter green foam that I've cut into a thin strip. Hopefully, I haven't cut it too thick. I'm going to tie that in, run it down the body, and wrap that back up forward to be my body. Great flotation, durability, easy to use, like the foam. It's quick too, generally speaking, if I haven't frayed that thread too badly. Okay, we're going to use a, a dyed Dunn Grizzly feather from a, uh, originally a natural Grizzly cape, but then dyed Dunn. I like kind of a gray Dunn colored hackle, but standard standard Grizzly would work fine too. Tie it in by the butt. Palmer that back. Lots of hackle for really good flotation. Tackle might be slightly long, but we'll work with it. We could clip the bottom, go all the way back, use that rib that you left to begin with, the thread rib, tie that off, cross rib it through, knocking down every hackle for durability, and foam body is going to be durable that way too. Tie that cross rib off. Cut your hackle off. Now there are some days when those bugs appear to have a super bright green quality to them. And to deal with that, I'm going to add a little bit of the synthetic um, McFlyon, or this is old aqua fiber, but I'm going to add just a nice bright hot spot to the underwing of this fly by just tying in a, a sparse bit of synthetic underwing. And over the top of this, I'm still going to put my deer hair, but I'm tying that in so that when the fish look up, they see that brighter color. doesn't matter what that really does right now because we're going to tie deer over the top. But now I've got a kind of fairly level platform up front here, kind of a big thread head on it right now, but we'll have to work with that. Uh, I want a lot of hair on here, so I'm going to use a, an elk or a deer in... Uh, that's nice and airy, not too much under fur, um, lots of air captured in each fiber. Uh, not, the, not the real light elk that you might use for a standard elk hair caddis. don't think that floats as well. It's nice and visible, but we want a lot of air in this stuff. So measure that wing just out beyond the uh, aqua fiber or the McFlyon that you might use for your underwing. Measure it. And then you're going to take that and clip it. Lots of hair on this fly. I really want this one to float. That's nice. Now we're going to really, with all that hair, I've really got a crank on it. Try to keep it from spinning. Come up front, over the top again, again, again. Really crank that down. Got lots of hair on there. Really big, bushy fly. Be a great floater when these, these green caddis skitter all along the surface. When they're out and about, they just jump around. You want to be able to move this fly on the surface, keep it there. And that is it. Foam body, green underwing, huge bushy green caddis. That's about a size 8 fly on a size 10 hook. Little fish, little fish. <laughs>